Welcome to Life Journey, Glory to God International. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. 1 John chapter 2, verse 16 and 17, and it read, Love not the world, neither thing that are in the world. If any man or woman love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Let me read 15 again. Love not the world, neither things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. My subject today is, why Christian can't let go the world. Ten reasons why Christian can't let go the world. I'm going to tell you a reason why. And there's ten reasons. The first reason, they love sin or sinfulness. Yes, they love sin. And they use excuses of saying they are humans. But guess what? The Bible says, if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's number one. Number two, they don't love the Lord, because the Bible says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number third reason, they have overcame, they have not overcame lust. Lust is desires. The Bible says, if your way does, if you, if your heart desire the Lord, he give you the desires of your heart. If your ways please the Lord, he give you the desires of your heart. Hey, glory to God. Now, fourth reason, they are serving Lucifer part-time and serving God part-time. What are they doing? They're serving two masters. Hey, glory to God. Fifth reason, why Christian can't let go the world. Fifth thing, they don't want to learn about God because they have not they have not came or come or came to God. The Bible says, my friend, hallelujah, in Matthew 11, chapter, verse 28 through 30, he said, come unto me, all he that have elated, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn. How you learn God? By praying, by fasting, and glory, by it being the word of God. Hallelujah. He's, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is is light. So Christians say it's hard to be a Christian. You don't want to let go the world. That's why it's hard because you don't want to let go sin. Sixth reason. They they are lonely, so they need friends to validate them. Hey, glory to God. And they're not they have not read James chapter 4, verse 4. I'm talking to Christians. Why Christian can't let go the world. Hey, glory to God. Why? No, I'm six, they, they say they are lonely, so they need friends to validate them. Hey, glory to God. Number seven reason, they love the world. Why do they love the world, preacher? The love, they love the lust of the flesh, the crave of the flesh. They love the crave. They love to drink. They love to smoke. They love to cuss. Hallelujah. Come on now. Uh, they love the they love the flesh and the lust of the eye. They everything they they are shopaholics. They love everything they they see. They want even marrying somebody else that's not their husband or not their spouse. They are they are adulterous and adulterers. Hey, glory to God. And they are are the pride of a life. They are divas. They are conceited. They are boastful. They're high mighty. Why can't Christian let go the world? Hallelujah. Number ninth reason, they have lower their standard. Hallelujah. For fame. Hallelujah. Which is shame and disgrace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number tenth reason. Hallelujah. They, they, they don't understand living for the Lord, but they do lip service. They say, I love the Lord. They say, I really, really love the Lord. But do you do you really love the Lord? Because the Bible says, my friend, 
The Bible says it's not, a, it's not a confession, it's a profession. Being a Christian is not just a confession, it's a profession. That means that you are a Christian 24-7, not just on Sunday or Saturday. You're a Christian at home. You're a Christian while you're in the shopping center. You're a Christian in your car. Hey, come on now. You're a Christian in the park. You're a Christian at the beach wearing that two-piece, showing your cliches, showing your tattoo on your breast. Come on now. Why can't Christian, hallelujah, let go the world? Hallelujah. The Bible say, my friend, in Matthew 7, chapter, verse 21, hallelujah, hallelujah, and 22 and 23. And it say, not everyone that say unto me, lip service, Lord, Lord, have, shall not enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out demons, devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then shall I profess unto them, I never knew you to part from me, he workers of iniquity. So why can Christian... Let go of the world because they love sin. They love sinfulness. And you're full of mess. You are a carnal Christian. And the reason why you're carnal because you don't study the word of God. You don't pray. You don't fast. Paul said, when I preach to others, I make myself a castaway. So there are ten reasons why Christians can't let go the world. Why you can't let the world go to the world? The Bible says, love, love not the world, neither thing that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And that's why some of us say, why are you judging? The Bible says, he that is spiritual, judge all things and judge by no man. We got a book of Judges. And the book of Judges say they did everything that was in their own eyes. So why Christian? can let go the world.